Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some more Grixis discard action. This is my most played deck and for good reason. It's probably the deck that we have the most success with. Uh, we've had lots of five win uh, leagues with this deck uh, throughout if you've been watching them there on YouTube. And it's a lot of fun to play. The games are usually really long, pretty complicated, and uh, very interesting. And we're usually just almost going to lose and then barely stabilize and turn the corner and all that kind of stuff. And so it's a lot of fun to play. It's like the Grixis colors are fun as well. Uh, so yeah, I really like this deck. So here we go. Let's get some Grixis discard underway. Hope it works out. Rixis, discard. Uh, do you keep track of your records with every deck? I do not, actually. No, I don't, I don't actually keep track of them too much. Uh, probably should but I don't know. I don't. Anyway, so our, our hand looks pretty good here. We have like a difficult decision whether we want to discovery on turn two bef before we disinformation campaign. I'm going to go ahead and do that because I want to hit land drops. It looks like we're playing against uh, teamer reclamation. Which, Teamer Reclamation is going to be a tough Game 1 matchup when we're sitting with all these cards like Lava Coil and the Devil that don't do very much. It's definitely going to get better for us post-board. Game 1's going to be tough here. Our opponent missed Land Drop, which is good for us. Hey, AD Shooter with that Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, AD Shooter. Sub number 9 on the day. Get this down to 186 here. So yeah, we are doing a sub. We're gonna have, once we get this uh, sub battle count down, that's, I guess it's right there, right underneath me, boom. Once that number goes, reaches zero, we're gonna take an entire stream day and do nothing except for me, play against subs, it'll be a lot of fun. Uh, so you don't wanna miss that, uh, especially if you're a subscriber, you wanna, want to play some matches, that's what we're gonna be doing that, that day. Uh, more information down below in the info panel about that. Go, Angrath, go! So I think they have Insight here. Hopefully not a counter as well. Resolve. Oh, baby. Go, Angrath. Here be monsters. No fire, no steel. <clears throat> yeah, I guess like the... Our, my pack emote... Is it even like super necessary anymore since we already got like all the rares? Why it, does this deck not run Eldest Reborn? Because it's just expensive, you know, five mana is a lot. And I like just keeping the cheaper spells in instead. All right, so I can bedevil that, but then they draw a card, which is like annoying, right? So let's let's go ahead and minus three our hand graph to take it. Freedom. So we can whack them. Fair price. And then we can bedevil it. Do I want to maybe a double lava coil actually? I guess I probably double lava coil. So I get to draw some cards. Even though I guess if I if I would have bedeviled, I could have campaigned. This does mean my Angrath dies to a shock now, but usually their deck's going to be playing like Shiv and Fire instead of Shock. But we did see them discard a Lightning Strike earlier. And they have Explosion as well. <laughs> yeah, we're playing the 5-win Dream deck. Uh, draw... 
Rodriguez with the tier one sub as well. Let's get some hype for Rodriguez. Thank you so much for that sub. We're getting us down to 185. Back to the Devil's Chains and the Stormwreck Sea. All right, I guess we're going back to the Devil's Chains and the Stormwreck Sea. Hmm. This is just tough. No, this is gonna be really tough to win. I mean, I so I can dispersal the reclamation. That doesn't really get us anywhere. Knuckle Balls is going to be too slow. I think I'd need Angrath. I don't know. Next turn we'll have three from Campaign plus there's six. Our sub battle counter is right here. We're at 185 right now. Counting down. Hoping in about 10 days to two weeks or so, get that down. Correct, we could have pinged Niv with its own trigger to kill it instead of with just one lava coil. But I wanted to cycle another lava coil because these lava coils are just so useless. And also deal the extra two damage to them. Wow, they're getting rid of another explosion? It's their third explosion? What else are they keeping? Yeah, this matchup's gonna get a lot better for us after sideboarding. We have all these cards that are not good. That's a good draw. That's a good draw. Yeah, we'll just go with that. Um, three, six. I think I'm just gonna keep this land. Now this is a this is certainly a Grixis control deck. This is Yeah. This is not a mid-range deck at all. This is definitely a hard control deck. This Kanta still got us down. We've gotten through three explosions and two nivs. They just whiff with that Ascanta there? How do they whiff with the Ascanta? Yeah, they could have had four lands. Yep. I still don't think we're going to... I still don't think we're favored to win this. But we have a chance. But I still think we're underdogs here. It's just, you know, three, act, three as Kanta activations a turn.
Wish I had one more mana. Thanks, 1960 pal. Yeah, so we're about to do another 12-hour stream. We're doing one for Quip already. We're going to do one for the YouTube followers. I have a, a couple 12-hour streams here in a little bit. All right, there's the last explosion. How does their deck win with the explosion? They're going to just explosion us for 18. We're going to be taking lethal here. And if you, if you have not, we're going to do our... Quip 12 hour stream either tomorrow or Friday. If you've not voted in the straw poll yet, feel free to vote there which day is better for you, tomorrow or Friday. I'll be, you know, checking that at the end of the stream tonight. So that's 8, 10, 12, 13. Yeah, they can do 18. All right, so this is going to get a lot better for us. So let's get all these negates, terraces, thief, probably Ral. We'll see about Ral. Maybe not Ral. Uh, those are out. These are out. Those are out. I mean, I, I do need answers to Niv still. I can keep, like, what, two, two bedevil for their, their Nivs? I don't need, like, a lot of answers. All right, no Ral. That's a lot better. Get all these lava coils and soots and stuff out of here. Yeah, wilderness is pretty broken. Yeah, they can have ooze. That's all right. We can just, you know, fly over ooze and stuff. I'm not too worried about ooze. Ooze costs five mana. I'm not too worried about it. So we'll take their best card. And then we'll make them discard a few more. I should just take Reclamation, but... So, Sinister Sabotage. They could have Sabotage for Nicol Bolas, presumably. I mean, I'm just taking Reclamation. Yeah, Cali Commuter, we're doing sub versus whenever we get 185 more subs. You know, that counts resubs, gifted subs, all that kind of stuff. You know, so this is just a countdown. We'll do it every... Every 200 subs. You know, every... Um, like 10 days, 2 weeks or so. Uh, information about that. I made an info panel to kind of help describe that. Yeah, my, my plan was to throw out Nicol Bolas here, but they'll have the Sabotage. But I guess I can still throw out Nicol Bolas. Do we have a backup? So what would I rather... Like, our spell's getting countered. It's just, what do I want to get countered? Do I want campaign or, or bolus to get countered? I guess I'd rather have campaign countered. Better not have another reclamation. Okay, they're just inciting. So I can campaign plus discovery and pick up the campaigns. Um, or just go bolus and start putting pressure on them. I can go bolus. So 
So they could certainly have like their like they have that five mana instant that deals four. Uh, Shiv and fire. This could get Shiv and fire, but then we can drop a new bolus. Hey, what's up, Rex? All right, gotta go. All right, yeah, check. Take a look at this one later on YouTube. Yeah, the the deck list is is here, Studios. Oh yeah, I, th I think this list is very viable. I have been very happy with this list. Negate's a good draw. I'm gonna just kind of hold that up. Yeah, I've had a whole lot of success with this list. Um, I have a lot of videos of this deck on YouTube. This is my most played deck. So, uh, you can check those out as well. YouTube channel is youtube.com slash ToddStevensMTG if you've been, if you haven't seen this deck in action too much yet. Yeah, opponent, isn't death amusing? Trigger. Trigger. All right, we're going to game three. And I think I still like where we're at. Hey, what's up, King Tull? Have you thought about sideboarding a Niv in the deck? Not really. Niv would be against control. I think the sideboard's already really good against control. Though... Um, I don't want Niv against, like, like, if I wanted Niv against Sultai, yes, but the thing is, is Niv is not very good against Sultai, or not as good because of, how, like, all their answers to it with, like, Vivian and Hostage Shaker and all that kind of stuff. Alright, we need lands. Anything that's not a land is getting surveilled over. They got Dubs Blue already. They have Negate and Sabotage, so they'll be able to... Hmm. I mean, I'm gonna take sabotage. That's a land, so I can resolve thief next turn. I think I'm just gonna go with go with that. Go with try to just go resolve thief. And they grow spiral. Get towards explosion. Alright, no lands in hand for the opponent. Ugh. I really wanted to land myself. And all, all we're doing is just filling our opponent's graveyard for their Ascanta. So I... I don't want to Thought Erasure when they have, like, expansion that can copy and stuff like that. I'm just using, like, my three-mana thing. I really want to be able to have expansion plus negate. Or Thought Erasure plus negate. Oh, they hit Reclamation, too. We are, we are looking bad here. Oh, I didn't know that yet. Hmm.
not look good for us. How many cards are they getting? There's way too dang many. Okay, just two. Can we get some lands, please? This is unfortunate. We're a 26 land deck. This is really unfortunate. We can't, no, Thief can't take lands. I would have loved if, the, if Thief was, could take lands, I would have just been taking lands the whole time. That's a really disappointing way to lose. I should throw out Search Rose Canta there, have that get countered, and then Thought Erasure away, that expansion. Ooh, that's good, that's good. Mmm, that's bad. Hey, Liliana. I would not be surprised if this, this expansion should probably copy something. Whether they want to copy the negate, they want to copy my thought erasure. I would not be surprised if this this expansion just copies something. Because uh, they can't... Yeah, they're just going to thought erasure me. They can't really just, like, sit there and... Uh, let the Thought Erasure resolve and have me take the expansion, so they might as well just cast it. They just have so many so many lands now. Hopefully that's a spell in hand that we get to take, at least. Well, I guess that's a spell. So they have... Um, yeah, they have three expansions in the bin. That is true. That is pretty good. So they didn't... They whiffed on Ascanta. Wow. That's rude. Need this to be a land. Play a land. Get this card out of your hand. Play a land. Dang it. Need them to get that card out of their hand so I can dispersal this stupid reclamation.
I mean, we we lost this game a long time ago by never by not having lands. But it's just it's our opponent kind of going through the motions now. We're not winning this game. But they have around 30 mana they get to use every turn, and three S can't activations, and we have six. Like we can't, we can't compete with that. And I, I, I could cast the insight, but then they get the insight. That just doesn't really seem useful. Yeah, I think, yeah, hopefully we could ex negate the last explosion. Will that even do anything? We'll just have, just kill us with a Niv. Like, I don't think they're going to fire off this explosion until they have a counterspell backup. Basically. Like, I don't think they're just, like, firing off this explosion here. Or maybe they are. Without a counterspell. Like, I'm expecting that last card in their hand to be a counterspell if they're doing this. Well, they even have it. They still have Ascanta activation. For negate as well. Yeah. So that was really unfortunate missing the fourth land for so so long. Whoops. Didn't really have a chance. 26 land deck. We can't afford to miss land drops like that. Yeah, expansion is instant speed, and you get to use all the mana with Wilderness Reclamation with it. That's why you're playing that instead of Banefire. All right, this is a, a good hand against some decks. Bad hand against others, but I'm not going to mulligan it. Hmm. Unless this is mono blue. Not, not so sure about this ritual of sit. Alright, looks like we're going to sideboarding. <laughs> No, don't get rid of the Terramander. I need you to have that Terramander. That Terramander is the only thing I can kill. Yeah, those are reasonable. Hawkeye, he's curled up on the bed. Yeah, Paint Seer, yeah, we just played a Teamer Reclamation deck. So. Yep, good games. Uh, let's see. Alright, we'll go Campaign. No land drop. Wow, after digging like that. They kept something with this Discovery. They probably kept another Discovery. That's pretty unfortunate for our opponent. They did a lot of digging there.
Dang, that's not good for the opponent. All right, there they go. They found it. Cost them all their discoveries and ops. Their drakes are going to be so big. Those are going to be some big, big old drakes here in a little bit. <clears throat> so not playing the Sulphur Falls means that I don't have a guaranteed Angrath this turn. We'll just use the rich. Good. I like getting that Spell Pierce out of their hand on their turn. Now we get this Ritual of Sits to actually do something. That worked out well. It's been working out pretty well for the opponent, too. Hitting those land drops. Um... I want this discovery. I definitely want the watery grave, of course. Do I want the discovery? That's the, the main question. Because because it's still like even dispersal. Um, at worst, I'll put it over there. All right. So now contempt can get dive down. So can nickel bolus. But Nickel Bolas also eats another card and then gets dived down. I think I like just keeping their land or their their spell count to low. So that if they add Pierce or Dive Down, um, they don't get the value out of it there. Because Elves Reborn costs a lot of mana. And I don't really like having the the higher curve necessarily. I guess that's true. I guess Lava Coil... I don't know why I wasn't really thinking too much about Lava Coil there. That's an annoying one. Alright. Um, unfortunately, that's a shock land, not a, not a tap land. Or, like, not an untap land. An untap land would be nice to be able to campaign... And then Contempt. But we can't really do both. Yeah, opponent did, did not have the dive down. So certainly would have been better to Contempt the previous turn. really hit a lot of lands. If I if I would have cast Sit last turn, I would have died. I needed that two life that Contempt gave me. Sit and I'm dead. Last turn. Myro De Demand Can. Myro with the sub. Let's get some hype in the chat for our new subscriber. Welcome to the channel, Myro. So, I kind of wanted to contempt one instead of Ritual of Sit. Because if, if our opponent draws a shock, we're dead, and that would be really, no really fire, unfortunate to just no die to a shock. Steel. No fire, no steel. All right, that cuts our sub battle countdown down. Stick it down again. One eighty four. No fire, no steel. All right, a couple more turns. 
Angrath ultimate will end it. So as long as it's not shock, we're good against creatures. Which, you know, I can obviously, I guess shock I just contempt my Angrath though. No fire, no steel. All right, one last turn for the opponent. The opponent draws. And did not get there. Angrath Ultimate was gonna take it out. All right, so Ritual of Soots were good for us, but I don't think they'll always be good for us. We do need a decent amount of removal. Like, I mean, I guess they have they have Terramander and Enigma Drake. Nifmiz, it's like the, th the thing I'm most worried about post-board. <laughs> That's pretty good, the King Toll. It's like lands when you're already flooded. I do kind of like duress. Because they use spell pierce and dive down to protect their things. I don't know if I want to board out more ritual of sets though. I could see trimming a campaign. Campaign's kind of nice though. Hey, what's up, QQ? What's today, the 20th? Hmm. What did we play last time? Sultai Vanifar. We'll find some red mana eventually. Alright, I'm getting Sultai Vanifar up on YouTube. It is loading up there. So we're doing a 12 hour stream for hitting our equip goal either tomorrow or Thursday. Or sorry, tomorrow tomorrow is Thursday. Either tomorrow or Friday. What in the next two days? If you haven't voted in the Twitch chat yet, uh, or I just I just put the straw poll in the Twitch chat there for you to vote on. If you have not voted yet, make sure you do that. What day works for you, either tomorrow or Friday? What would be better for you? Uh, gonna go from noon to midnight. One of those days. Alright, so I'm making the thumbnail for Sultai Vanifar here. Sorry, I'm not saying too much. That's not the most riveting. Streaming opponent ditched a mountain. I'm glad we don't have to go climb that mountain. Ritual of Set. I'll probably just get countered anyway. Mm -hmm. 
Zap. Okay, almost got this done. Almost done. Boom. All right, no spell pierce. Very nice. All right, I'm back. Hey, Gatsby's here. The day off was pretty nice. Played a lot of Zelda. And, yeah, it was a nice, relaxing day. What was the name of the deck you did that was Blue Black Control Hand Disruption? Um... So if I, if I dispersal this thing, they just get to replay it and draw a card again. Not like draw a card again as in like the... Uh, the clothes access accessory. But they draw a card for a second time. Hmm. So they could have another dive down. They've been keeping this one blue mana up. Likely have another dive down. Let's get more, let's get more spells out of their hand. Sure, we could get coiled here. And they could, if they don't have Coil, they could use Dive Down to save their Crackling Drake. You know, if they attack him with Drake, I'll just block with Bolas. Bacon Bolt. I'll eat that up. So, two cards. Ooh, that's a great one. Is it great? It's all right. Very good chance we're dead here. Oh, they didn't just fire off the dive down. If they would have just fired off the dive down, we could have certainly been dead. They didn't fire it off. Jolner says, hey, Todd, I made this Mardu Angel Abomination. Haven't tested yet. What do you think? Ah, uh, Arena, You're come just on. Fuel, no fire, no steel. Come on, Arena. Well, clicking on that <laughs> that Mardu Angel deck did not work out very well for me. All this lag started. So is, is there something that I can do with my computer to improve this, to keep this from happening? No fire, no steel. Like, I, I don't... I don't like that this keeps happening, and I, but I don't know what to do.
Well, I can't, I can't upgrade internet at all. I have tried so much stuff with the internet. The internet can't get upgraded at all anymore. Like, I, I am planning on moving uh, to Dallas in the summer sometime where I'll be moving somewhere in the city where it has a lot better internet. For sure. Yeah, it could certainly be my computer, but I don't, I don't know what to do about it. Hey, what's up, Wagner? Reset for the ninth month in a row. So maybe I just need a new PC. All right, one and one. Run task manager. What do I, what do I even look at in task manager? I'm from Dallas. I'm, I'm going to be moving back there. It's processor or RAM problem. My my PC. So this has always been my streaming PC. I, you know, I, I I bought it like three years ago now, so it's like three years old. Um, it was a, a good streaming PC three years ago. No, I know the whole the whole res reset the client stuff. I do that all the time. It's, it's not just that. It's some bigger issue. I don't know the exact PC specs. We're playing mono blue. Um, we fixed the fan that was broke, as far as maintenance goes for the PC. Uh, I, I opened it up and, and replaced a fan, you know, like that was like a few weeks ago. Alright, so, I think Ritual of Soot is the more important card to resolve, right? So I just go with Bolus here. And then next turn, I can have, like, Duress plus Ritual of Soot. But I guess they have, like, Storm Tamer to counter Duress also. I mean, I guess I, I removed Dust at, at that time, which was just a few weeks ago. I I have no idea if the t temperature is okay. It wasn't, temperature wasn't great whenever I, but I fixed the fan and I think it's good now. I don't know how much RAM I have in the computer. Is there like a way to check how much RAM you have? Please don't have Essence Capture. Don't don't have it. Nice. Go, bull, let's go. Not nice. Mean. Control panel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, dress is so good. Look at that main deck dress. Okay, so system like revert review your computer status. Um That's not it. All right, against 
Mono blue, I want to take out the campaigns. Whoop, not you, Thought Rager. Get back in here. Campaign and Discovery. And bring in Negate, Duress, and Moment. That's my sideboard plan right there. Hmm. Well, I'm not seeing it there. Task manager, manager, and then performance. I was at task manager just a little bit ago. It tells you in performance how many, how much RAM you have. No, I don't want thief at all. Basically, when good rule of thumb, if you're playing, if you want ritual, so you don't want thief. I don't know, what, is that my RAM? 16? Or something? That's memory. I don't know what that stuff means. So 16 gigabyte RAM right now? So... So how do I increase that? No, no thief. Yeah, we need to we need to get some more guild gates for these rams. I mean, ritual is awesome. I've had it up for seven days straight. I haven't though. I turn my computer off every night. Okay, never mind. 16 is plenty. So it said I was, I've had the computer up for seven days straight. That's weird. I just turned it on right before we started streaming. Huh. Okay, click on power. All right, so next time choose restart because it's just hybrid hibernating. All right, we'll we'll try that for the. We'll see how stream goes tomorrow with that. I use shutdown, but I guess the shutdown's not not good enough. At least I think I do. My internet speed is supposed to be 200, 200 download, 30 upload, is what I pay for. Or three, 300 down, 30 upload? But I know the upload is the important part. So we didn't get anything to do in our first three draws to do before this ritual of Sid, unfortunately. I thought it was more likely they had to dive down. You know, pretty likely they have a dive down. Yeah, I have Cox Cable, though. And, like, that's... That's the thing that I'm not sure why... It does vary. Like, there's a lot of times where I'll just have... Um... Stop. There's a lot of times where I'll have like 30 upload and it's fine. And then for like a little bit, it'll go to like two or three, three upload. And it's terrible. Yeah, like right now it tells me I have 3.5 upload. I just did a speed test. 3.5 upload suddenly. Like, during... But I, I can't get any more where I'm at. It's the, it's the best I can possibly get. You know, I live on top of a mountain here. 
I can't, you know, I just, I have to wait until I move before I can get anything better. Yeah, so while I'm streaming, it's like that. But it changes, like, other times at, like, 30. Like, I, I don't know what we'll be at in... Cry isn't very reliable at killing things. I've had Cry too many times not be able to kill creatures. They have a lot of creatures that Cry doesn't kill. And... Therefore, I don't really want it. Hmm. This is a really tough choice. All these cards, you can basically see, like, a reason to take kind of anything here. I guess I just take the dive down, though. But Storm Tamer is, like, another dive down. Could see just taking the Tempest Gin. I'm going to do that. I'm going to just take the Tempest Gin. I think if I can just get to Nicol Bolas, I'm not too scared about these little 1-1s one with, <clears throat> with Nicol Bolas. Um, let's see if this gets spell pierced. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, so I think I think the computer is being okay. I don't I don't think I can transfer the files from like my computer to the to like my old laptop and then use that for uploading. I, I do think it's the internet speed because just doing that speed test I was at 35. I do think it's this this internet. Alright, hopefully that last card's not a counter spell. Hopefully. Never seen water burn, no fire, no steel. Yeah, I think it's internet speed related as well. All right, and two and one. I'll go ahead and just do this real quick. <laughs> Handgrass from Cleveland. Ooh, Pittsburgh is a good one. Yeah, Handgrass from Pittsburgh. <laughs> Have you ever seen Mono Blue burn? We're playing versus Michael Scott. No, I don't do the ranked stuff too much. I do the events. I think the events... Um... Alright, well, we need to take... 
I'm gonna go ahead and thought rage here because I, I need to take it. I can't beat the blue enchantment. All right, they don't have the blue enchantment. Double route. I mean, I guess I've taken this crisis, but double route is really scary. Um. Anyway, um. You know, it should just be better like this summer. So, you know, planning a sometime like June or July. Moving somewhere with really good internet. I know that's a few months away. But hopefully it, it all works out then. Maybe I'll get a new PC whenever I move as well. We'll see. Moving's expensive. So we'll see. Let's see, what do we got? I'll take a Nicol Bolas. This is a tough matchup for us. Uh, Gates, Gates is. They get to just go pretty far over the top. And our removal doesn't do a whole lot all the time. So yeah, this can certainly be a tough matchup for us. The problem is, is it's advertised as 200 down, 30 up. But it's not... It's not that. Even though that's what it's advertised as. I hardly ever have 30 up. You know, I do sometimes. Yeah, Guild Summit stuff. Yeah, Guild Summit's really tough to beat. That's the hardest card to beat. For sure. I wanted to find Thought Erasure there to try to be able to take a Guild Summit from them. If they just drew one off that explosion, we did not draw. We did not find a uh, Thought Erasure. They didn't play anything. Here be monsters. What are they doing over there? The eight eights are also kind of hard to beat. Like basically, a lot of their stuff's difficult to beat. They must have just like, you know, flooded out and just drawn a bunch of lands. Yeah, I guess they just flooded out and drew a bunch of lands off that explosion. We can beat a bunch of lands. Thankfully, that happens sometimes with them, and sometimes they also. Um, sometimes they also, like, miss their colors and things like that. A lot of cards I want to bring in. So, coils are out. Hmm. We have to be able to kill these rams. But I guess I'm just going to have Just Contempt and Bedevil to kill rams. And Ral. What's the wing place with, like, 20 flavors in Pittsburgh? Um, something with the word lube. Uh, it's kind of like Jiffy Lube, but something else. Quaker Steak and Lube. There you go. That's it. Oh, yeah. And Angrath kills her things, too, and so does Nikki B. So if we're cutting four cards... We're probably going, like, campaign route, because they can just go way over the top of campaign. Yeah, I think I'm going... And, you know, we can dispersal and stuff, too. I, I'm going to go ahead and probably... I guess i get rid of the campaigns and have the thieves instead. How does this look? Let's try this.
They play four gate gatebreaker rams. They have all of them. I don't really like this hand too much, but we have turn two as Kanta. It's like and good mana. I don't like all these discoveries early. Discoveries like a good card late, like to help you find like the card you need late. It's not really what you want early. Like early, I'd rather have negates, duress, thought erasure, thief of sanity, all that kind of stuff. Um, we'll find land. Put that over there just in case he would have hit a Thief of Sanity. Wow. No land for them. Go, Bolas, go. Bolas, Bolas, Bolas. Five turns. Come on, Nikki. Five turns. No! Not a red source and a Gilgate. No. So like an option is trying to like dispersal the guild summit on like end step and then untap and duress. That's like one option. I can't beat these cards. To be honest, we're dead. Sure, I can take Krasis and a Blaze. I can't beat these routes. Those are cutest routes are so good. Like, they're double ramp plus draw two. They're insane value. I have to get rid of those. So if I cast Thought Erasure, it gets negated right there. So I'm going to Dispersal this Guild Summit. And now Thought Erasure this Guild Summit. do this now while they're tapped out. Incentivize them to play another Krasis, to tap out for another Krasis, and then we Angrath it. We'll be able to kill my Angrath, though. Hmm. With Explosion. Explosion in the sky. You're just fuel for the fires. Your crew for my freedom. <laughs> no, they don't have double red. They don't have double red. Ha. Ah. No fire, no steel. Wow.
they haven't they must have like another expansion explosion tilt could have hit our own negate but I don't even know if that's like something good to negate anyway please don't have another expansion explosion don't do it don't do it No, a guild summit. Uh, even worse. Thanks, Zephyrs. Yeah, we're trying. They've had a lot. No fire. But getting rid no of the circuitous steam. routes. Niv miss it. That's just rude. All these cards are rude. Opponent, you're rude. Fire. Yeah, so they kept the Colossus in hand to be able to discard, to not discard their Niv. I have to find a different answer to Niv here. Yeah, Gates is a rough matchup. You realize when I steal a Ram, it's not, the, the Ram's not a 9-9 on my side. For my freedom? <laughs> a fair price. I'm not gonna let my opponent draw a card. I wanna draw a card. So we're one man away from playing Bolas and flipping Bolas. No fire, no steel. Um, the, wait, they're just drawing the Gate Colossus next turn? Well, they're dead. That's it, they're dead. Got there! Man, what a tough game. What a tough game. I think the, the biggest reason why we won that game was taking this, the two circuitous routes earlier. I think a lot of people would not have gone after those circuitous routes, but I think we we were dead in the water if we didn't um, take the routes. So. Okay. I didn't think we could win, but we did. I didn't think we could, but... Guess I need to believe more. <laughs> Thanks, Sippy. <laughs> All right, so we're three and one. And uh, we'll begrudgingly keep this hand, which is having this discovery on the second turn to be able to look for more lands, specifically black sources for these rituals. Oh no, the Mono Red Menace. No, not the Mono Red Menace. Oh, this is our worst matchup. Hopefully they're not Frenzy Red. Frenzy Red is our, is our worst matchup. So they better not be playing a bunch of Frenzies. Is it, that was four color gates that we just played. 
<laughs> not too surprised there, Mike. Alright, ditch those. Those are not lands or black sources. We need to go here next turn. You should send me your list still, Mike. I'll still stream it, still, still try it out. Down to 11. I wish I could do random Planeswalker except Teferi. <laughs> why, can't, why can't I do, you know, like I, I'm just doing the random each time. Can't, why can't I choose random except Teferi? Tell them just to like delete that one. Let's do, let's do a quick dodge. All right, so remember, y'all, we're doing a 12-hour stream either tomorrow or Friday. If you haven't yet, vote it in the straw poll there. Which day works better for you? What day would you be able to watch more of? Going from noon to noon to midnight. Eastern time. We're doing that because we had 20 people sign up for Quip. Every 10 people we have sign up for our, the different sponsors. Wow. I'm doing a 12 hour stream for that. We have new sponsor, MeUndies. If you haven't checked out their wonderful site, you can get 15% off your entire purchase through my referral code there. that just introduced earlier today. We're going to game two. This is how their deck beats mine. Drawing three strikes, two skewers. Usually a lot better against creatures. Not so much against the spells. What if we do this? Hey, what's up, Retract? <laughs> Why'd I get rid of so many black sources there? Because just being able to have a second black source for Ritual of Sit wasn't going to win us the game at two life. Uh, we kind of needed to find Angrath to get us like the, the fastest win con possible. We really didn't have a, a choice, a chance. Sorry, we didn't really have a chance at that point in the game, though. Gosh. So it's either this or playing another discovery. It's, it's either playing a discovery or a set. So it is good, you know, against like Chain Whirler and Steamkin and all that kind of stuff. I think I'll play the one set. Nah, we need Angrath. Uh, I don't know exactly how to pick so it does the random avatar each time. I I would assume just in your on your profile page, that, that's where you ch choose your avatar. I would assume there's one that says random. After one of the updates they did a month or so ago, it just changed. I had it like on Vivian before, but just changed it to random. And I was like, huh, random's, okay. random's okay. And I just kept it on random. I should just play... I guess the Watery Grave. Yeah, I couldn't play the Duress. Light Up is annoying. So next turn they go Shock Light Up.
All right, so the stage just gets some uh, wizard's lightning. Hopefully they do not have a wizard in hand. No wizard, please. That's good. Just tap out for your lightning. Good. I'll see one of those mountains. Hey, what's up, Hawkeye? I haven't seen you up here today. What have you been doing besides just laying on the bed? Oh, just laying on the bed? Just being a cat? Sleeping all the time and stuff? Sounds like a sweet life. Because Light Up is just two cards. It's a it's a good card, but it's just two cards. Frenzy's is completely unbeatable. I can't beat Frenzy. I mean, I can, but you know, it's it's so difficult to beat Frenzy. So I didn't want to like have to always keep up two mana for my negate anytime they could have the frenzy kind of thing. All right, they killed the bolus. Not ideal. It's just not worth the risk, basically. Plus, they could draw another Frenzy that, like, maybe I'd need the counter for the other Frenzy kind of thing. It's just... It's not worth the risk. Okay. Okay, Cam. Okay, Cam. down here. I'm I'm going with yeah, I didn't hold the negate for frenzy. I'm going with the my opponent should not draw another frenzy plan. And three life is important. I'm going with the dodge my opponent drawing another frenzy. Sometimes you just got, just got to be willing to dodge. And I'm using the contempt here because I'm going to draw Angrath or Bolas. One of those two, especially Angrath. I'm going to draw my Angrath, going to slam it. Yeah, I could counter later on. It's very true. Could also hold it, just take it. Ow. Ow. What are you listening for? What you looking at? Magic's over here. Opponent. Why are you taking so long? There we go. So, Thief. Bolas or Angrath. Those are the cards we want to draw. Any of those cards. Perfect. That'll do. Hey, we got a skewer. Out of our opponent. OK. 
Okay. So I was definitely thinking about just flipping the bolus here and taking up and just refilling the hand, but with drawing the thief, uh, might as well just use the lava coil there to get rid of the steamkin and thief. You know, just double spell here instead of just spending the seven mana on it, Nikki B. All I want to do is pet you in this life. Hmm, I don't know, that didn't work. Probably stick to the original lyrics there. I'm glad they're drawing all their non-haste creatures with me sitting on all lava coils. That is certainly convenient. And they're more worried about... Interesting. Be done. They're more worried about Thief than Bolas. Hey, what's up, track team? All right, so we're we're gonna go down to eleven here to spend the mana to flip Bolas, but Bolas should help us out. I, I basically just don't want them to draw a lava coil and then kill my Bolas and then I have nothing, kind of thing. Bolas will kill him in a few turns by ticking up and getting to the the twelve. Yeah, Deckmaster should be working. I always have an answer. It's definitely possible. Like, I could have minus three Bolas to kill the Chain Whirler and then still at four loyalty. We don't have to worry about Bolas dying. But I like trying to get to this ultimate as fast as possible. Basically make them draw three mana burn spells over and over and over again. Which it looks like my opponent's already on their way to doing that, and I do not appreciate that. You never know, we may find an Agate, or an Angrath, or something. I mean, they've already gone through a lot. They've gone through three Wizards Lightnings, two Skewers. We'll just ultimate next turn. My knowledge is endless. Yeah, we could revive other bolus, absolutely. <clears throat> but just go into the ultimate. I don't think they have a I don't know, do they have a card that deals six? They're like a bane fire. Gods create and gods destroy. Anything crazy in here? I saw a second frenzy. But yeah, they had all those chain whirlers and things like that. So thief on the on the draw is a little different, and exp and a seeing frenzy. Maybe we need dispersal for that, but it's it's hard to actually dispersal a frenzy. I didn't see like those kind of like all like those steamkins and chain whirlers the first game, so I wasn't sure like how many sits I'd really want. Let's get one more sit, one less thief. I don't know. Discovery does do a good job of helping us find Bolas and Angrath, which is pretty vital. Maybe I play those over some thieves. Yeah, 
Yeah, Thieves just soak up a removal spell. It's basically like playing Sinister Sabotage. Uh, you know, just take a 3 damage burn spell or whatever. Question is, can you please talk to me about Angrath? Why is he so strong? I don't... I don't understand. How is he... How is he not strong? Like... I don't know why you would think he would not be strong. It's our opponent... It's just... Just like the ticking up and dealing two damage every turn, and then ultimating at eight wins the game. So, like, it's... It, it, he ends the game in, like, four or five turns. What is it? It's... Starts at five after the first tick up, and then six, then seven. So it starts at five, then six, then seven, then eight, then ultimate. So the fourth turn after playing Angrath, you win the game. And you can also just kill the smaller creatures if need be. If they actually have cards in hand, it's amazing. risk factor. Double risk factor is trouble. But <clears throat> at least make it, letting them draw cards is not so bad with Angrath. would have been a game that would have been so much easier on the play. You know, on the play, we thought Rage of them take one of their two Steamkins. They play the other Steamkin, we coil it right away. And we're still at, you know, 20 life at that point. It was a game that was made a whole lot tougher by being on the draw. That is not so different from any other game against red though. Kill Pyromancer or I start going after these Frenzies. If I start going after the Frenzies, I go to 5 next turn. Like if I tick up, I'm at 5. If I minus, I'm, I stay at 8, but then they have both Frenzies to cast. Yeah, this was a game that I think we win if we're first, but we're going to lose being second. That's... It's not different from a lot of games, though. That's true. I don't. Why did Your I? crew for my freedom. Yeah, we'll just take Firebrand. <laughs> Let's kill this thing. Price. Get rid of both. That's just the best thing. So we'll take the first one down to four. Maybe not. I just don't take any of these. Ah, uh, gross. Being at four is so tough with how slow of a clock we have. All right, looks like we're going to be three and two. Bleh. 
That can be a tough one for us. It's not really the matchup I'm trying to win with this deck. To be honest, that's just a matchup I'm going to lose most, most of the time. We've done a pretty good job of, of winning it here recently. So... The thing is, if I take the first four, and we go down to four, when am I... I don't know. I'm, I'm not ending the game very soon there at all. And they just need to draw two burn spells. I don't know. We're just, we're just going to lose. All right, so yeah, we went 3-2. Still a respectable record. First time we didn't get five wins in a long time with the deck. But we ran into that really, really tough matchup there. We ran into a couple tough matchups um, with that one and the Gates. But we fought hard against Gates. What was our first win? I remember our first win. Oh, yeah. Or our first loss. Our first loss was against Reclamation, which I, I like our matchup there. But we just got stuck on lands forever. That was our first loss, just getting stuck on lands. Game three. I used to have Egos in the sideboard. I've taken them out. They're just not worth it. Um, yeah. So there we go. That's Grixis Discard. So if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next